special occasion. Life going celebration. Hey, Rashida. Appreciation for her sister, and we send her off well. Thank God for the good people that we have in our lives, and good friends and family. So, so why we Justin, here today. he got all this started. He asked us to help him out. He did a good job. Proud of him. Kyle, you know what Pictures of a sister we got posted in the house. Uh, we all know to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And we believe that Shawnee is in a better place. In the bosom of the Lord. <laughs> she did been like a sister to a lot of us. <laughs> and there is no way I could not feel your pain. So um, we're all, even though we're not blood, <laughs> but we're still family. Yes. Mm -hmm. God puts people in your life for a reason. We ask that you would lean on every one of us. Because at some point in time, in some part, you have touched all of our lives in this way. And we want you to know that we are here for you and your family. Okay. <laughs> to piggyback on what she said, you're going to need strength in the coming days. You need strength right now. Just remember to lean on the Lord first. Your husband and family, yes. And then you've got us. You can call us in the midnight hours. You can call them during the day. Sometimes you just want to come and just say, I just need to scream and I need to talk. We're here for you because we love you, see. We're not, you know, 
and nobody can ever replace this beautiful person. Mm -hmm. But we just want to let you know that we are here and we love you. Oh. <laughs> Marcia? Well, well, um, truly, um, we are deeply sorry for your loss. Uh, each and every day is a gift. Sister, I know it's precious, but um, we continue to look to the hills with coming by our help, and our help who continues to come from the Lord who made heaven and earth. So, this is why we celebrate when people are born, we cry when people are born, and we rejoice when people leave us. But it still doesn't make it easy to leave for us to leave this world. But we love you. We'll continue to pray for you. We'll continue to, even when six months from now, when people seemingly forget all of us, we're there for you. And we love you. Um, and just thinking about our conversation, Philippians 4, 6, and B says, And the peace that surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. And uh, I just want to say, we don't always understand, and, and it's not for us to understand God's way until he presents it to us, but just continue to do you know, like everyone says, we want God, lean on your resources, lean on us, and in due time, he will give you that understanding. But in the meantime, just celebrate the life that you have. I thought of the idea of it all uh, hands on deck. Sharika and help me out. I think Carlo reminded everything like this was really a team effort. And um, like I said, it takes a village to raise a family and I think we found a new village here in Texas. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, but this is all for you. You show me how to be strong. You know, I broke down in the store crying. I was like, yo, yo, this is the weekend. Y'all haven't all seen this so <laughs> Family is like naked and it's in your heart and thoughts of like, I don't know, it's my 
<laughs> I'm sorry about that. that nice. Don't tell this guy anything. <laughs> <laughs> keep, keep me a little bit of surprise, too. Surprise, <laughs> surprise to me, surprise to me. Oh, I got a second? Well, baby, you know I love you and I support you in and everything you do. And mm -hmm. I always miss I love family. I'm all in the family. That's all I care about. I'm a family boo. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I love everybody. <laughs> and I know you can miss your sister. And you're hanging out and Having fun and all that, but uh, Shana was fun, loving, and happy. So yeah, Shana was a goddamn on crying. Yeah. Uh, let's get some drinks no. <laughs> and uh, enjoy life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know me. So we and um, ooh, one more thing, <laughs> a couple more things. So um, it's very important that you know that when Justin called me, I was at work. You know, doing what I do. It's <laughs> <laughs> working. Okay. Yeah, sticking it through it. Um, soon as he said it, it was like done deal. Got on the phone, made a phone call, called Candy, called Cole, stopped by the house. I was stopping by your house and made one of y'all vehicles in the door. <laughs> And um, they did not hesitate. D is on the way because she had a funeral. She had to spend the day to D and Fred. They did not hesitate. Not one moment. It was what time, what you need me to do. And this was not just me and Carl. Justin put the plan in motion. He executed and said, this is what I want. And Candy, Loretta, Nicole was just so like, okay, so this is what we're going to do. That's what our goal is, right? <laughs> Didi, everybody came part. Everybody came through. We all love you. Like I said before early, you like a sister I never had. All of you guys are. All of y'all touched my life. I learned from you. I learned from you. I learned from you. I learned from all of you guys. I love y'all. I'm here. I'm about to say it's a death girl's body, not a good idea. Like, but we just want you to know that we all got your back. Yeah. We we all got your back. I, I, I didn't even know this was happening. I I couldn't even imagine. But I'm so thankful, you know, just that day when I woke up and I said, Charles, we're moving to Texas. I don't we didn't know anybody here, not really. But it's been like the absolute best week ever, like, even though my family was acting crazy this last week, you guys have just been so there for me, and I feel it, it's overwhelming, because it's like, it's what you always want, but you don't know you'll find it, mm -hmm. and people want to be in our crew, you know, they <laughs> see it, they feel it, they, they, they yeah. recognize it, and it's a beautiful thing, and I don't take it for granted at all, and I'm just, my heart is full. I, I, it was a lot last week. <laughs> it was a whole, whole lot. Um, but um, whew, I just thank you guys from the bottom of my heart, and I just love all you guys. Thank you. <laughs>
Justin, you want oh. to say one more thing? Because Carlos is going to close us out. You want to say one more thing? Um, just a uh, mm. little thing for my aunt. Mm. Uh, so, my auntie, Auntie Shawnee, she was one of the best aunties I really could ask for. She was, yes, funny, goofy, and loving. But one thing she didn't do was she didn't take any BS from nobody. Mm -hmm. like, she didn't claim <laughs> Um, if she told you to do something you didn't move, she gave you, she gave you this look. And for me, it was like, nah, she ain't, she ain't going. I'm not going to do this today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One of two things going to happen. If she don't whoop me, she will call my mom. And I'm going to get whooped. And then she's going to be in the back. I, I, I told you so. I told you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so as I got older, um, I always changed my number. And every time I changed my number, she would always have it. I don't know how, but she always called me whenever I'm messing up or something's going on. I was like, who is this? And then I said, hello. Then I hear the voice of my auntie. She's like, yeah, it's y'all two else are going to be. Howdy. Howdy. Just, no, don't worry about that. <laughs> so like, okay, all right. But that, that, that's who she is. Like, um, uh, she went to the military. Ever since she went to the military, I think her life just changed for the best. Um, she wanted to see the world, and she went to Afghanistan and saw that part of the world, I guess, and she came back and was like, all right, well, be safe. Um, she was always trying to make sure the family was all right, you know? Um, and I grasped that from her. Um, I'm just proud of who she became. I know she's came a long way. Um, mm -hmm. wanting to be the best person she could be to actually getting to that point and mm -hmm. reaching her moment. Um, so now the only thing left for me is just to explore the world and she can watch it through my eyes. Yeah, right. She's watching down the hall. So, mm -hmm. um, so we're going to my auntie. Yeah, she was young. I don't know if you guys know this, but I had um, I had three sisters. Y'all probably didn't know that. I don't mm -hmm. know. I'm actually the second oldest and my sister was the youngest. Um, and we all had like a very weirdo upbringing. So my mother died the same month as my sister on the second in 1981, and she was five months old at the time. I was eight, and my sister Bella was five, and the other one was 12. And it's just been that type of life for us, and we never really all lived together. And we've only like been in the same room probably five times in our adult life which is not good, um, but finding you guys and having that sisterhood means mm -hmm. everything because it's like in my most romantic mind what I would have wanted for my sisters. Mm -hmm. And I'm so thankful because, uh, was it two years ago? During the pandemic? I, did a, um, I had a podcast and my sister and I never talked about our circumstances. We never had that conversation one-on-one. -on -one. We just kind of existed. And I'm so thankful I had that podcast episode. It's called Sister Strangers because in to us, we were kind of like strangers, even though we're sisters, which is really bizarre. Um, but it was a great time, and we all agreed to like be a part of it and share like how they felt about like all the stuff that happened to us, and it was like a release. And so I'll forever cherish that podcast episode because it was the one time we just got really honest and open with one another and had like the whole sisterly moment that mm -hmm. we needed for all our lives, mm -hmm. and it just never happened. So. It's bittersweet because we just, I, I talked to her that Thursday and Saturday morning, I got a call said she was dead. And so I say to everybody, you know, if you get that, you know, you get those urges to say, I need to call someone, so if you put it off and you just don't do it, do it. Mm -hmm. Because you just never yeah. know that when the end can be for the next mm -hmm. person. And mm -hmm. then you'll have those shit could with us. Yeah. So I try to be purposeful now, and when I have those moments, stop whatever I'm doing, and I'll just call this person, because life is just so short, mm -hmm. and we just never know, mm -hmm. you know, when our time is gonna come. So I try to live every moment. Some people call it reckless, but I call it wild. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and off the charts, maybe, but I do. I live every day like it's my last day, and I leave like nothing on the table because mm -hmm. That's what life is for. You're supposed mm -hmm. to live. So, yes. I thank you guys uh, for celebrating her with me mm -hmm. and uh, making this time all the more special for me and my family. So, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everyone, make sure.
sure you pray for these children. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. yes. They lost their hand, and I, I feel his pain, and I know, you know, make sure we keep them in prayer, and the same thing goes for you all. When y'all need to talk, you need something other than him. Exposed. You need something. Don't hesitate. You, you all, like you said about the village, you, we are that village. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, y'all know I'm, I'm not big on words, but uh, one thing I am big on is family. So it touches my heart for you as a young man to say, let me do this for my mom. Because that's what I'm all about, this family. So this is the weakest you'll ever see me. Mm -hmm. Ever. All right? Because I don't, you know, I just don't show emotions, but at times like this here, mm -hmm. it's, it's where I probably break down. Mm -hmm. All right? But... Since you all have come into all of our lives, it's been a positive impact. Very positive. I don't hang around with a lot of people, but you all welcomed us, we welcomed you, and it changed our lives. And um, I don't even know if we should even be out here, or we supposed to be out here, but some Lord gave us the opportunity to be here and to be in this neighborhood. And, uh, it was the best move we ever made. It really was. And um, I thank you all for inviting us into your family. And y'all know we always doing something here. And we appreciate everything that you all have done for us and bringing us all together and getting us close. Mm -hmm. Closest group of friends I've ever had. All right? And I, and I ride for friends and family. All right? And it, that's not something, I, I don't pass that word out easily uh, as being a friend. But um, before we depart today, we just want to do a form um, that we always do and the celebration of life in our family. And um, since you all are part of our family now, we'll read this out to you as well. So just let it bow the hands. It says, as we mourn our dearly departed, mixed, with mixed emotions and broken heart, we're never to say goodbye. And the ultimate question is always why. Will question the wisdom of his ways and thirst for answers in the coming days. Somehow, we seek to understand what life is forfeited upon demand. An eternal flame will light the way as we embrace their memory every day. Ye servants who pass your earthly tests, grant us, grant us unto them eternal rest. Rest in peace is the fervor of vow. Of this earth that you leave now, we offer this prayer, O Lord above, in a memory of shining winds, the one we love. We thank you, Father, for allowing us to come together today and to share this joyous occasion as for us a life going celebration. And we thank you for allowing us to come together as a family and for a group of friends to be here to support this family. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Man. Yeah. Yeah. Justin, what yeah. you want us to do yeah. now, Justin? Yeah. 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 Ye